Hello everybody. Um, doing a quick uh, how-to video real quick. Going to show you how to replace the rice pin in a stingray um, in the firing button to get rid of the crunchiness, get rid of a lot of the wiggle that they wiggle back and forth. Um, <clears throat> but uh, as you can, I've already replaced mine so there's no crunch. It's just a simple anywhere you want. So let's go ahead and turn this camera down to the bottom and we will go ahead and jump on this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this firing button. Now I've already got a pin in here that I've made so I'm going to go ahead and take the pin out and then show you the rice pin that came in the stingray and then show you the modified version. Needle nose real quick here. Just to unscrew that little insulator piece there. Then you have your other side of the magnet down in here. And your top ring, sorry I thought the camera was up top. Your top ring comes out and it has the little groove. You see the groove right there? Kind of close to my finger. That's where your rice pen slides. Then you have another groove down on the button itself. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. You have that groove right there on the button. Well, that's where the rice pen sits. I'm going to show you the rice pen that came with this. I thought I was going to show you. Oh, here it is. Here's the rice pin that came with the Stingray. See if we can get that to focus on that. There we go. See that teeny tiny rice pin there? What I did is I found a nail that is about the same diameter as the rice pin. Just a tad bit bigger to remove some of that play that I showed you earlier. Um, and then all I did was measure, all I did was measure the uh, rice pin diameter. As you can see, these aren't the same exact nails that I've used. Because if you stick that down in there, you're gonna have a lot of play. But this is just for educational purposes I guess you could say but basically all I did was take my needle nose wire cutters whatever you got cut the flathead part off like so and then you just want to make a measurement like I did a minute ago and go ahead and cut you a pin and like I said this this nail is the wrong diameter but then you would have a new rice pin right there. And you would just slide it down where that little circle is. Not the middle circle, but the circle off to the side. Make sure both notches are lined up. And you would slide your rice pin. As you can see, this is the rice pin that I've made that I use in mine and it is a lot longer than the rice pin that came with the stingray and the diameter of the pin itself is a little bit fatter to remove a lot of the, the button rattle but um then all you do is just take the pin that you've made like i said make sure them grooves are lined up and slide it down in 
Now you can see how there's a silver pin and the copper down in there, or the brass down in the button there. There we go. But uh, basically, that's how you do it. And then you just take and put your button back together. Tighten down on that. Put your insulator back. And then your top magnet. Which is what makes your button pop out. And as you can see, sorry, no rattle in the button. Just a quick and easy rice pin replacement. And like I said, it makes a big difference in the button not being crunchy, not wanting to rattle. You see, there's no. No play in that button. I mean, barely any play. Before, I could turn it, and it, you know, it'd rotate a good bit. But as you can see, there's no rattle. Just an easy firing button there.